Virgo, hi, welcome to your Love Bite reading for the month of May. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below. If you talk to me, I talk back. If you resonate with this reading and you're interested in a personal reading, I do offer them. They All the information is down below in the description box if you should need. If you haven't checked out your Sexual Magic Deep Dive for the month, make sure you do that. Um, you can find that on my page, okay? So let's dive in. Virgo, what's going on in love currently? So we're going to start with the current energies in love for you, Virgo. Um, then we're going to pull the future energies to see how your connection is going to pan out. By future, I usually call about a week to two. And then we're going to pull a moonology, see if there's any advice for you. Okay, so let's get into it here. A lot of energy popping out right off the bat bottom of the deck we have the temperance card okay patience could be required you could be dealing with a Sagittarius not necessarily so it could be any sign make sure you take the um, uh, the roles and the genders as they apply I just read through the cards there is no discrimination on this channel okay so you've got the two of swords we've got the four of um, cups we've got the Empress and we've got the Queen of Swords here, okay? So you could be dealing with a Libra, you could be dealing with a Cancer, heavy Libra energy here, especially with that Two of Swords, the Queen of Air, and the Empress card, okay? Also Sagittarian energy as well. It could be any sign, take it how it resonates. But I'm seeing here, uh, Virgo, that patience is required with that Temperance energy. Someone you're really attracted to with the Empress card, um, somebody that you're interested in, you want to grow a foundation with or grow a connection or move forward in a connection with here with the Empress card, um, is really holding back from you here. I'm seeing that they may have you blocked, they're holding back feelings, holding back emotions, not really showing you what it is that they want from you. Um, their, energy, their energy feels kind of stingy with you here, um, especially... Um, but with this queen of air, I'm really feeling like there's unfinished business between the two of you. Um, but it doesn't seem like this person is communicating with you right now. Um, <laughs> let's clarify this queen of air, queen of air, the king of earth. Can you clarify the empress, please? So the, we have the mirror over the empress, which means the, the attraction is mutual. Look at this, two of swords with the knight of water. Clarify this four of cups. Yeah, the strength card. Bottom of the deck, the emperor. We have the emperor and the empress, okay? This feels like a divine connection here uh, between the two of you. <laughs> and you know what's really great about that too? Underneath that emperor, we've got the king of water. It looks like... Um, the masculine energy in this connection needs to um, ground their emotions here is what I'm seeing or express them, take control and express them with the empress in the mirror. This tells me that the attraction is mutual between the two of you. And then we have the emperor as well. It's very clear that the attraction between the two of you is mutual here with the mirror in the middle. Okay. Um, you guys both feel the same about each other, but someone... Someone is holding back on an offer here with the Knight of Cups, okay? There's a block. I'm not sure why this person's holding back. It's almost like this person doesn't really have courage or is finding the strength currently to say that they are interested in you, but, or they want you back. I'm sensing there could be a want for commitment here. I want to move things forward. Unfinished business with the King of Pentacles. I feel like you guys could be in separation. This person wants you back. There is unfinished business between you. Or if you guys were previously, um, previously in a commitment, you guys could be on pause right now. But the per this person's still attracted to you. I actually want to clarify. I want to clarify. Hmm. 
Please show me the block here. What is the block? Why, why the separation here? Wow, a lot of cards. Okay, four of wands. Five of water. Knave of water. And the priest. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. This person may have a choice between two people. I, I feel like this person's desiring commitment with you. However, I feel like they're already in a commitment with the priest and the four of wands as the block with the knave of water. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. They could have a choice between you and someone else. However, they're viewing this other connection with this other person as unsatisfying. Okay, they have a sense of pessimism towards it. I'm almost picking up an energy where this person feels trapped. They could have been unfaithful to their other partner with you. Okay, with this knave of water. They could be on the verge here of breaking up their current home to come towards you. But they're just not ready to do it yet. They're trying to find the courage is what I'm seeing here with the lovers. Um, and the strength card with the four of cups. They're holding back from you, but they feel like you guys belong together here with the emperor and the empress. But there's something else they need to leave behind. Could be a marriage, not necessarily so. Could be a commitment. Um, that they need to leave behind. We've got Gemini energy, Taurus, Virgo, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and then we have um, Aries as well here. But this person wants to come towards you. The block here is someone else. There's, It's almost like a third party situation. However, I'm seeing that this person wants to leave this, this third party. They haven't been faithful in this third party. They've been looking for other options with the five of cups. They want to walk away from it. Okay. Um, they feel like this connection is not going anywhere and they need to make a choice with the lovers. Okay. They want to go towards something. <laughs> they want to go towards Virgo. <laughs> okay. Is what they want to go towards with this 10 of pentacles underneath the lovers and underneath that is the sun. Okay. Um, I feel like they see stability with you here and not with this other person. Okay, so we're gonna pull, <laughs> we're gonna pull, uh, we're gonna pull the future energy, see how this connection is gonna pan out in the next week to two. Um, see if there's any more blocks, um, anything you should be aware of here. But it seems like there's a divine connection between you and this person. But this person needs to make a choice between you and someone else. Is what I'm seeing here strongly okay Virgo all right so let's dive in and get the future energy for Virgo future energy for Virgo let's give us a little shuffle all right spirit please show me clearly the next week to two how is this connection going to unfold for Virgo and the person who's heavily on their mind Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Bottom of the deck. So we've got the seven of pentacles. There's definitely some potential here in this connection. Somebody wants to try to get this to grow. Um, somebody sees a future with you here. Okay. They feel like they've invested a lot of time and energy into you. Um, and they want the fruits of that labor is what I'm seeing here. However, this person has a heavy burden on their back. <laughs> it's funny we have the lovers come out again I feel like this is a strong indication that they're going to choose you but I feel like um, in the next week to two um, this is going to be uh, the energy of the next week to two okay <clears throat> this person is going to be going through a rough time trying to sever one and move towards the other okay but this person has a strong tie to you all right, with the devil energy and the queen of cups, they are obsessed with nurturing this connection with you. Okay, they want to see something with you underneath that seven of pentacles and this is the ten of pentacles and then the hierophant with the page of cups. And then we have the, the strength card here, okay? 
This person wants commitment with you. I'm seeing here with the Hierophant, all right? They're hoping to be with you. They want stability with you with the Ten of Pentacles here, okay, Virgo? Um, they want something with you is what I'm seeing. Okay, there's potential here with that Seven of Pentacles. Can you clarify the Queen of Cups? Yeah, the Six of Cups. They're longing for a reunion with you here, okay? Let's clarify this Devil. For the devil energy, please. Nine of Cups. They're obsessed with coming towards you, okay? They believe that you are their wish fulfillment. Let's clarify this, lovers. They believe that you are their wish fulfillment, okay? They want to come towards you. So we've got the Page of Swords, okay? So. While they're severing ties with this other individual, they're still watching you. Bottom of the deck, we have the fool. Leap of faith here. Okay? Um, they're going to be making a leap of faith towards you. I'm telling you that right now. Um, clarify this ten of wands here. Ten of wands. Yeah, with the page of pentacles. Bottom of the deck again, the fool. Okay? They're trying to navigate this situation is what I'm seeing here. Um, bottom of the deck, there's, I mean, sorry, underneath that fool is that queen of swords, unfinished business. There's the, the connection between you and this person is unfinished, okay? This person um, is going to come towards you. Right now they have you blocked because they're trying to deal with the other burdens um, that they're having. And that burden is trying to sever ties with a previous partner, previous karmic, previous marriage, previous spouse, um, partner, whatever applies, okay? Um, this person's trying to move away from that and come towards you here, okay? You're heavily on their mind. They're watching you, okay? Um, they're just taking this time right now to learn how to navigate these, these waters, all right? And possibly heal uh, from the previous connection but they can't get you off their mind okay they're obsessed with you they're obsessed with coming towards you they truly believe that you are their wish fulfillment here okay they see a future with you and they want to try this new beginning with you here okay um, but I feel like it's going to take some time in the next week to two, you're probably going to hear from this individual. I would say on the later end of the two weeks, so probably near the end of that two weeks, this person will probably try to reach out to you. Because um, I do see move, I do see watching, but with that fool card, I I, I do see movement. So I feel like. Yes, they're going to they're going to make a move, but it's going to be on the later end of the two weeks, okay? So let's get one more. Actually, I think I have two here. <laughs> so a new romantic cycle begins, and you and your loved ones are safe, okay? So what I'm picking up here is yes, <laughs> there's going to be a new romantic cycle that begins. You, oh, look at this. Expect powerful change. I think this person has you out in the cold right now, but they're they're coming back in here. Okay, Virgo? You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, this person's not talking to you right now, but this person's fine. Okay, that's what I'm picking up with that. This person's fine. They're just trying to navigate, um, disconnecting their previous connection here. Okay? Um, I know it feels kind of crappy to be out in the cold um but sometimes when people are dealing with other issues they need the space to deal with them you know what i mean so okay virgo this is what i've got for you make sure you like subscribe comment down below if you're interested in diving deeper into this definitely um hit me up for a personal all the information is down below in the description box thank you so much for watching love and light guys